So I just wanted to make a very quick video follow up to the uh, US government shooting down UFOs uh, video. And uh, the reason for this is that I'm a little bit wondering why they have to resort to anti aircraft, uh, like surface, not surface to air missiles, but air to air missiles. Um, seems a little overkill for a uh, balloon, you know? Like, those things must cost like a million a piece or something. So, this balloon's what? Like, um, the big one was probably worth a pretty penny, but um, since it was made in China, it was probably going to eventually. Uh, I'm not even going there. Um, but uh, these two smaller ones, uh, quote unquote smaller, the one was like um, apparently, you know, 10, 15 feet. Uh, in diameter or something like that um, we don't have that information uh, as the public but um, if these are actual like dirigibles like balloons they're at 40,000 feet right so and uh, they're relatively slow moving I'm assuming um, you know is like the, the US government can jury rig giant bunker bursting bombs um within a couple days you know um just like when when they knocked out saddam's bunkers they didn't have these moabs that could uh bunker burst gbu type things um so they just basically jury rigged penetrators and it they got, got together a team got it done and sent them off to iraq and uh, blew up the command centers that were bunkers um, yet, they their best solution for uh, securing <laughs> these balloons or unidentified flying objects for um, analysis and whatnot is to shoot them out of the sky with air-to-air uh, -air missiles and then send collection teams to collect the debris. I don't understand how that is the best solution they came up with. Like even the U.S. government has um, air balloons that you think they could send just you know get a net go up, put the net around or attach it down, put some ballast on it, bring it down. That's not overly complex. Um, it is was at 40,000 feet, which is fairly high, but um, they have the technology, like even balloons, um, various systems that could be used to easily um, secure these uh, things completely whole and um, to bring them back down to the ground. So... I just find it a little, um, a little, a little odd that they're blowing these out of the sky with uh, aim missiles. Um, it seems constructed almost, but it, it seems like the military isn't really trying to um, collect these things, um, like for full intelligence analysis. Because, like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a genius, but <laughs> I think I could could uh, devise a plan to collect a balloon um, at 40,000 feet, um, find a way of catching it and uh, putting weight on it to bring it down. The fact they're using F-22 Raptors, which just flying those things is probably like million, two million dollars just to intercept. And then a missile, which is another million dollars to, to fire. Um, they're spending mad money to blow these things up and then go collect the the debris for intelligence it just makes no sense <laughs> like go get the balloon bring it to the ground and uh you have the thing whole to analyze um so i don't know maybe there's a safety reason but i, I find it a little absurd and that's the reason why i'm making this video as a follow-up to uh u.s military shoots down ufo um because that's how it's reported in the press but uh there was another um one in canada uh yesterday i guess something like that and they're not releasing the information to the public because they're probably like, yeah, we're spending $5 million to shoot down a hot air balloon um, or a, a weather balloon. Um, so if the Chinese really wanted to bankrupt NORAD, all they'd have to do is send like, uh, you know, those birthday balloons, just send send $5,000 balloons over into North America every day and be wasting million dollar missiles that there's limited stockpiles of. Um so I don't know. It just seems a little absurd. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, got to destroy the balloon, got to destroy the balloon. Um, I, I think it's not really the smartest thing they could be doing. And I think that this uh, high altitude uh, intercept capability is something that should be developed. Um, but um, yeah, I think there's a lot, lot 
better methods of taking down a balloon um, than blowing it up because really blowing up a balloon isn't going to uh, secure the intelligence data that it possessed if it had anything. These latest balloons, though, um, apparently didn't like actually have sensor arrays or something. We don't know. The data isn't released, but they were saying they weren't actually um, carrying stuff. I don't know if that's the case or not. But the, the moral of the story here is that if they were, is really knocking it out of the sky at 40,000 feet with a air-to-air -air missile and having it crash on the ground uh, before recovering it really the best way of obtaining intelligence information from the object? I would say absolutely not. Um, so, I don't know. It just seems like they're being really stupid. Like, really stupid.